How do you think AI affects you in your job? So my job is the school's district uh, digital learning specialist is to make sure teachers are prepared for using technology in their classroom. So uh, my job has been affected because I provide a lot of professional development on artificial intelligence, on intelligence. So I've met with all the teachers here at the high school, walked them through the background, talked about the appropriate use, ethics, all that stuff. I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis necessarily, but um, I see in the future I probably will. How do you think it will affect future generations? Yeah, so uh, y'all's generation is going to be way more impacted than my generation is because we're just at the very beginning of it and it's already able to do amazing things. Uh, so it's only going to develop further. <clears throat> I think the biggest change that you'll see is that um, it's going to be able to offload of work that you know maybe doesn't take as much brain power, but takes a lot of time. So for example, if I'm a teacher, it doesn't take a lot of my skill to make like a test, for example, but it does take a lot of my time. Um, so I'm able to offload that work onto the artificial intelligence, and then I'm able to apply my insight as an expert to verify the information that it presented, and then I have more time to do more important tasks, like interacting with students, tutoring, that kind of thing. That's all I have on it. Um, AI has actually made my job a lot easier and then also at the same time a little bit harder. And the reason for that is because I use AI a lot to help me with teaching tasks. So for instance, if I'm going to make a test, I can put in all of my, um, all of my lectures in PowerPoints and I can turn those into text, feed it into something like ChatGPT and say design 10 to 15 questions, multiple choice based on these lectures and it'll do it for me. It's great. It's a huge time saver. But of course, we're also dealing with at the same time students that are misusing the tool. And if you, it's like any other tool. If my job was to teach you how to saw with an old school saw so that you knew how that saw worked and you could use that, if you choose to use a power saw, then you're never going to have that skill. And unfortunately, what I'm seeing some students do is instead of learning how to program, they are learning how to use ChatGPT to do that. And although that'll take them a, a certain distance, it's never going to make them a good program. Like you can't use it to program. You still have to program, but you can't use it to save time and to keep you from getting stuck. So I've kind of seen both ways of it. It's hard, made some things harder, but made some things a lot easier. I'd say I'd overall, overall it's, it's definitely, definitely made, made my life easier. Okay, so. How do you, How do you think, think AI will affect future generations? Probably the biggest uh, issue that I see on the horizon is creative work, um, information work, things like, I mean, even like a medical doctor. If you give the data to AI uh, about my body or your body, it's going to be able to diagnose sickness, uh, come up with treatment regimens better than any human being can. Um, if you were to, uh, if you're an architect or an engineer and you have a, and you can feed in the right parameters into an AI program designed for that, there's no way that it, a human can do that job as well. So we've seen a lot of automation over the last 30 years that have impacted uh, factory workers and people like that. This is going to affect information and creative workers. Like... I wonder in five years if we're going to have movies that are made by human beings anymore because there's going to be an AI program that can make it better than any human being. And yeah. so that's where I see the biggest thing. There is also a threat, and it's a legitimate threat, of as we incorporate AI with war machines, which we're doing. And you know that's the plot of a lot of dystopian future novels for a reason that we could see a calamity where the AI gets out and decides that human beings are the problem and you know then we're in real trouble, maybe in the Matrix or Terminator type scenario. That's it. That's it? Okay. Uh, what are your beliefs on the effect of artificial intelligence in the workplace? Uh, when it comes to the workplace, um, just from my perspective, um, you know, I think I believe it can be a good tool that teachers can use. Um, just coming from a teacher perspective, um, you know, I think it's it's something that we're still learning a, a lot about. So um, as we get more information down the road, um, I think it's something that can be um, definitely.
definitely used for the good, but just like anything else, um, you know, if we use it, you know, in the wrong ways, I, I think it can be also have a negative impact um, on, the, on the workplace as well. So um, overall, pretty good though. Okay. I might be interested sort of ours since it's always going to affect the world overall. Um, in terms of the world, um, you know, uh, again, we're kind of early on in the in the game. I think with with AI, artificial intelligence, um, I, I think it can have a positive impact. Um, you know, I think right now you're kind of seeing in certain areas of the world you're you're seeing a, a positive impact, but I also think you're seeing um, some negative things that are already kind of coming from it. But just like with any other new technology or or, or things that are introduced. Um, you know, I think it takes time to kind of see which direction it's going to go and, and if it's going to be used more for the good or more for the bad, so. Okay. How does artificial intelligence affect you and your job? Um, again, as a teacher, um, I think it's a fantastic tool. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's something that a teacher should, should rely on solely, but it's also, you know, uh, it, it kind of adds another tool to your toolbox, so to speak, that you can um, pull from. and. Um, get information you know I use it for quick outlines I've used it in the past to um, help make um, tests get question ideas things like that um, you know I think it depends on who you ask um, you know if you're asking a technology teacher or as opposed to an ELA teacher or something like that I think sometimes you can you can run into some things that um, you might have to keep a closer eye on from a student perspective um, you know same thing though I think from a student perspective I think um, it's just another tool that you can use to, to get information, um, but you also have to be careful, you know, just like anything else, to make sure you're not um, using it in the wrong way. So, um, but overall, it's been a good experience, um, you know, in the workplace and in, in my job. All right. Uh, do you think AI is good or bad for us? Uh, definitely good. I don't think AI is capable of being good or bad. Like all technologies, it's all in how it's used. So the, the answer to that question would be, it depends on the person who's using it. Okay. Um, I think it could be used for good, but it can also be used for bad. I mean, it depends on the person. Like if you're like a web tech designer, it, it makes your job easier, you know, stuff like that. But if you, like, you can use it for, for bad, you can create like viruses and stuff that shouldn't be on the internet. In today's consistently advancing technological environment, AI has proven itself by being a driving force in modeling our entire lives. With many things like streamlining factory jobs and improving human productivity overall, artificial intelligence has demonstrated significant potential in promoting productivity, efficiency, and profitability in various industries. Hard and laborious jobs, meanwhile, if they do that, they're taking jobs from other people who may need that money.